what is happening you guys so today we are jumping straight into another banger video today i'm actually going to be naming my five top mods that i've done to the tl so far uh these are my favorite mods that i've done to the car you know which transformed the car in my opinion so right now as you can see she is shining i just gave her a quick little wash i washed all the salt off because these past couple of days i don't know if you can see the ground it's been uh snowing and they just put crazy amounts of salt on the ground so i just had to wash it off off the car make her look you know right again got to get that white diamond pearl shining but let's jump into the video so my favorite mod that i've done to the car i'm gonna be real with y'all it will have to go with the headlights like the headlights and the mirrors like that combined this combination right here goes crazy like come on now tell me this don't look hard man come on you could change it any color you want uh it's controlled from your phone uh the person that did my headlights uh his instagram is lights by oz he did a fabulous job i honestly have zero problems with them uh i think one of the slight problems is like when it rains a little bit of water gets down in the headlights you know just fogs them up a little bit but it's nothing crazy and after like a day it goes away I could reseal them, but yeah, I'm not pressed about it. So yeah, for my first one, it have to go to my headlights and the mirrors, you know, just them together. That's a crazy combo. Next on the list, uh, this was a hard one. I, I think it has to go with the seat covers. Like the seat covers, it transforms the interior of the car. Like, come on now, come on. And, you get this from Endless RPM. I believe they go for, I think like $500. And I went with the all black stitching. And for me, this is perfect. Like I didn't want nothing crazy. You know, I daily this car a lot. So I didn't want no white stitching or like a you know, white uh, background or anything. Cause I know that could get dirty super, super easily. But as you can see, this is what it looks like. And you already know how if y'all have the third gen TLs, the seats just be so bad. It just be so terrible after a couple of years. And these cars are old. So definitely an upgrade if y'all are thinking about doing this. Endless RPM is where you find it. So that will be second on my list of the, my favorite mods that I've done to the car. Third. Ah, uh, third. It's still going to be an interior uh, mod. And it's the stars. I don't know. At nighttime, it's such a vibe. Like, if y'all have ever been in a car that has stars, y'all just don't understand. Like, the vibe at night is so crazy. And I've done it myself, so I save a lot of money. A lot of shops were quoting me, like, $1,800. And I bought the stars on Amazon for $200. And I redid my fabric. I did a uh, black suede. I did it myself. I have a YouTube video out if you haven't seen it, but I've done it myself. And I believe after everything, after the fabric, the glue, and the stars, it came out to like 260. And I did it myself. And yes, you know, when you do stuff yourself, this was my first time. I did mess up a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Like this little corner piece. I didn't cut it as much as I should have. You know, just little things that you doing the first time that the next time I get a car, I'm definitely going to do it even better. But for right now, for this being my first time, I think I did a great job. And at night, it just looks crazy. So my next favorite mod is my remote start. So I went to a, uh, what was it in? Like a nearby shop and they install remote starts in the car. And I got, I did this for like $300. It's super simple. All you got to do is just press this button the car flashes two times and it cranks up so i had this on the car probably like four four years now I have zero issues with it honestly if anybody's looking to get a remote start i say do it because you won't regret it for me i go to work uh early in the morning and just having the ease of just pressing a button and cranking the car up let it warm up for 10 minutes is has such it has, <laughs> I can't get my words together. Bro, what are you talking about, man? It's been such a blessing. So definitely recommend getting in a remote start. It would change your life. And like I said, it was $300. Like 
come on now. So that's my fourth favorite mod I've done to the car. And my last mod, my last favorite mod. What have I done? This is a hard one because it's between two. So I'm gonna I'm just say it. It's gonna be the splitter, the splitter kit. So I got my splitter kit from S Factor and it goes completely around the car. I think this changed the look of the car a lot. Have you ever seen a TO that has the, you know, the A-spec lip and has no splitter next to one that has a splitter? You'd be like, bro, you need a splitter. Like, <laughs> you just need to slap one on there. It looks so weird without a splitter. And I, I've done it when I did it, um, when I got into the accident, I didn't have a splitter for like a week and it was driving me crazy. Like the look of the car just wasn't the same. So highly recommend getting a splitter and also it protects the a spec lip and everything so you ever like come up to a curb this is going to hit it first before the a spec you don't want to mess none of that up even the size like these cost too much to be messing it up so i, I also see it as like protection as well and like i said i got it from s factor uh, there's also a center one that he sells as well but i didn't buy it. i just bought the rear splats the rear sides and the front splitter so with this one, since this front splitter has a center lip, and I don't know if you can see it that well, but yeah, it has a carbon fiber center lip with the, the wings on the side. I believe this was around 250, 300, don't quote me. You can definitely ask S Factor on Instagram. He can give y'all quotes, but I think, I think it might've been 300. And then the sides when I bought them, they were 150 and then the rears were 80. So my old splitter, it did, it was 200. So it was cheaper. It's just with the center lip and the wings definitely cost more. And I had to go with the wings look after the accident because it just, it's something different. And I've never done it before. And I've never seen a lot of TOs do it. So just trying to be a little different. So those are my five favorite mods I've done to the car. The last one, or you know, that was debating with the splitter was the exhaust. Like, right now I have straight pipes or that are uh, HFPCs, and they're Tesudos, so they're resonated cats. And I have a Dynomax resonator, and that is it. So she definitely sounds good. Like, she definitely has a good tone. I want to see if I can prop the phone up so you can hear it. Yeah, that is what she sounds like currently. Uh, like I said, Tatudo's uh, pre-cats and um, Dynomax resonator. That's the only two things that I have on the car. Everything else is gone and removed. So this tone of the car, I really like. Uh, it's not too loud, but it's like loud, but it's not like raspy loud and crazy straight pipe loud. Cause I definitely had this car straight pipe and it was crazy like it was honestly too loud so the car just like this is perfect so i know that's more than five mods you know the exhaust being six but those are my favorite mods that i've done to the car so far i have plenty plenty more mods that i want to do in the future uh, i definitely want to get a uh, air ride do some bags you know i want i want to be able to just slam the car and just be able to rise it up whenever I want to. Uh, what else I plan on doing? Uh, honestly, besides like touching up some more, uh, more of the motor, I wanna like paint the engine bay, do stuff with that. Uh, maybe clean out my trunk and have it a little better. I wanna make this car more of a show car than a daily, but it's kind of hard because it is my daily. So once I get a different car, and I can retire her. She's almost at 300,000 miles. So it's crazy to think. I had this car for, shoot, almost like eight years. And it's been my daily driver every single day. So she's, she's thugging it out. I love her so much. And yeah, I hope y'all appreciate the video. Um, I want to do similar videos like this. Uh, maybe in the next video, I'll probably do the pros and cons of owning a TL. So let me know in the uh, in the comments if that's a good idea. Give me some uh, 
video suggestions. I'm open for anything. So thank y'all for watching. If y'all can, please like and subscribe. And I catch y'all guys in the next one. Peace.